Chef, go. You must uh, install it. Not insert it, install it. You stick it on. It works. It works. Test one, two, three. Okay. The floor is yours. So this is shell coat injection uh, into uh, in, into C. <laughs> and now we go to SQL injection. Injection into SQL. Okay. Um, let me explain. Why? Why it's so easy uh, to do? Um, suppose you have uh, a user interface with some input fields. Suppose you have a user interface to log on into a system. Then you get something like, give me your username and give me your password. And as a user, you're going to type in something, like your name, your username, and some kind of password. Then um, at the back end of the system, there has to be some validation for the username and password combination to a database. Could be. So suppose at the back end we have a database and the database table is called uh, accounts. And in here you have two columns, and one column is a uh, username, and the other one password. And then a typical SQL statement might be something like select. Any color where username equals, and then we have our username. I come back to that and password. might be some SQL statement then at the back end to validate whether the given username and password equals what's in the database. And what you saw with the shell code um, is that you type in something and that will be put uh, into a string. Uh, here the same occurs because the name that you have put in here will be feed into this string to be used as uh, whether it's uh, equal or not to what the user has typed in. Uh, suppose if this is um, a Java code, then you will have here something like a, a string uh, concatenation. Okay? So this is a string here, and then it ends here, okay? and then uh, plus uh, concatenate with uh, the name. Okay? This is some kind of argument. And then concatenate again with the rest of the string and with password to do the same. Yeah? So this gives the ability, depending on what name has been typed in here, to change this SQL statement. Yeah? Is that clear? So it's not just a name, but if it is SQL, then you might see that you can change this SQL statement into some other SQL statements as well. 
because suppose it's not just Elmer that I did type in here. So this string will be Elmer. But suppose it is SQL. Like uh, as simple as SQL select something from etc. Then if I have typed that in here, that will be feed directly into my uh, SQL uh, statement, and that will be fed to uh, in the SQL engine, in the SQL database, and that will be executed. So if I ensure that what I type in here will result into a valid SQL statement or statements, then that might get executed. And if it is something like that, um, uh, the result is a list, and the list will be shown uh, to the user, then and it is not checking on, yeah, on whether it's correct or not, but just uh, showing the result from the database, and then you, uh, you can see that uh, if you know what table you want to have, and what columns you want to see from the table, that, that, that will be printed to your screen. And a lot of web pages are just working like that. And they have a table in there, and the table is, is, is just uh, uh, repeating all the results from the select statement. So how can you do that? How can you ensure that the statement you have here, the SQL statement you have here, that, that, that you inject correct uh, SQL in there and the resulting SQL will be correct too. And there are some tricks to do that. And first of all, you have to uh, close the first select statement. And that's still a valid select statement because that will uh, get executed anyway. And you can easily uh, do that, for instance, by um, ending this first single quote here. So you have username equals, and then uh, we say to an empty string. And so this piece here has, has to change from a single quote to another quote and a semicolon. Because that's then the end of the first SQL statement. And so before here you have the equal sign, username, select from, etc. Clear? Okay, so that means that name is not going to, to be a name. Eh? So a uh, name will be then a quote for the ending quote and a semicolon. Uh, now I can add my own select statement. So if I uh, have an idea about what tables are at the back end and I have an idea about what columns could be in there, I, I can guess. So I can do something like select passwords, passwords, whatever, from, and I know a table, a like user, semicolon. So this will now be okay, into here. Is that still not sufficient because it's ending? with a quote and password equals and then I have to type in here password. So I have to get rid of that. And what you can do is add comment to, uh, to it. So if I add um, select password from user and I add comment after that, then all the rest that follows will be treated as comment. So ignored. Is that clear? So in fact, then two SQL statements are executed. The first one, so that was the regular SQL statement made by the programmer. The second one, which we have injected through just putting it into this input field. And then the comment, which was the rest of the original SQL statement made by the programmer. And that's a way, a simple way you can, uh, you can do SQL injection. Okay. okay, so I thought, and uh, I would like to share that with you, because I think it's nice to see too. Well, yeah, I have also one question. 
Is there also a way uh, that you can find out uh, which tables are used? Because you can know the name of the tables. Uh, no, but uh, guessing uh, helps you often a lot. Okay. Users, uh, passwords. There are that. Yeah, all of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you just try a few, and within a moment you have one. Yeah. Okay. And especially those you're interested in, uh, most of the times are called the same. So yeah. So my idea was okay. Eh, we uh, need to have another uh, assignment for you. So why uh, are we not going to set up a small server, uh, very simple program, and give you the assignment to break into it? Eh? Um, so create, uh, try some SQL injection, create and change, uh, try to change the SQL and get the results from the password database, for instance. And no idea what the database is, no idea what the name of the column is, but you're just going to explore and soon you find out, okay, it's, it's this. But that was the idea. So I thought, they, you know, I write a small program in, uh, in Java and then uh, hey, you, can, uh, you can play with, with it, uh, but it's not so easy. Can I show if this will do something? Okay. So I set up uh, an SQL database. called it uh, SQLI, SQL uh, injection, and I give it a, a table named users, yeah, because that's a name easily to guess, and then within there, of course, we have uh, a few columns, and one is called username, and the other one password. Easy. Okay. So, it's, it's more or less like that. Um, and then I made a, uh, a servlet in Java. It's going to access the database. And I do that here. Try to explain this code. Um, so what you see there is you send uh, an HTTP request to the servlet, so a specific URL ending with slash login, and two additional parameters, one named username and the other one named password, and I get the values from those. Those are the uh, on line 50 and 51 the statements. Then I uh, create a data of I, I open the database and I set up an SQL statement. Um, so what I do is, and I, I show you in a moment, I have an additional class that is uh, uh, between this program and the database, and set up a an, an select statement exactly like that. Um, but if I, let me show you, if I execute this, can easily done because um, I can just send a GET request to my servlet with the additional parameters. So if I do um, the login URL with um, username and password. I send a GET request to my servlet with two parameters, 
username, password, and if it's the correct username, password combination, it says it returns login and succeeded, and if it's false, it says login failed. And um, so what I specified here as a username, uh, that will be inserted uh, into the SQL statement at this position. So the idea is to change it, to try to do something else there. Um, so what I need to do is to put in here now SQL. And it started with closing the first string. And so it will start with, um, normally if uh, I put in this here, in the, yeah, as yeah, uh, being put after the first quote. So I have to close that first quote. So start with that. The quote. Now I can add my own in a semicolon of, for um, the end of the first SQL statement, and now I can insert my own SQL statement. So you can do something like select from users, and we have a valid uh, select statement. We close it with a semicolon. And then we know we have the rest, or an optional part, eh, the tail of the original SQL statement. So we can add uh, the comment characters eh, to ensure that that will not be executed anymore. And then we don't have to, s well, we can specify this one, but I don't think it's really necessary. Okay. And then I get this uh, error message from uh, SQL. Let me try and show you. Can you read it? So if you take a closer look at that, and so that's, that is the ending SQL statement, select username, and then if you answer pattern from users, where username equals empty, semicolon, and then select star from users. This looks like valid SQL, isn't it? And you can see, in fact, that it is, because if I put this into the workbench, no problem. So if I copy paste this, statement. It's all fine. You see that now two statements are executed. So uh, JDBC is more safe than you might think it is. So it's not just executing any valid SQL statement that you're feeding it. And uh, so for that reason, I cannot, uh, we cannot put this directly on the search APU, okay, uh, go uh, and try to exploit uh, this one, uh, because that will not work, because JDBC is just more powerful and more safe uh, than I first thought that, that it was. So the idea is, um, what we, what we can try to do is to, to write it to PHP. Uh, well, most libraries don't support multiple uh, queries in one query. That's the thing. Yeah, so that's uh, okay. If you do PHP, if you do uh, PHP, that will SQL, work. If you do SQL query, it won't work. You need to do specify a separate function. It's called a multi query, and then supports uh, select queries or multiple insert uh, in the statement and then it will be vulnerable 
otherwise uh, you will need to somehow uh, not use the second statement. Yeah, and that's difficult in this Well, well that's the trick. Yeah. But in this case you could just, just use a quote or one equals one. Uh, because then you can make, maybe you can make a, a sub-query, but you don't get then the result, eh? do, do you? So if you make a, um, a sub-query... That would be better. Uh, you can do, eh? you can uh, put an OR statement in there, for instance. Well, you can try. So give an idea about what we uh, uh, shall fill in here. Okay, so we change it to. We can try it. Huh? We, we have this, so we can try it. What will work? So in here now we have our. Um, We have our additional select statement, so we have to change that to something that will make it a valid SQL statement. Okay. We can try. We have it in uh, another program. Uh, it will be nice to put it in. Okay, so what, what are we going to, how are we going to change it? We have to start with this, that might be something like that, that might be clean. Yeah, in general, just do quote, uh, or one equals one, and then comment. Yeah, okay, but then I cannot manip I can I can get the same result as this original query is, but I would like to have another result. No, but you will now since, I get the, since the username you will select all the users where username is empty or one equals one. Then no, I understand. it will fetch fetch all the users. Um, yeah, I understand. But I cannot get data from another uh, table. Yeah, I can, then I can just the columns back then from the original statement, isn't it? Yeah, well then you will need to use union select. Exactly. That will be yeah, a little bit more difficult. Because you will need to know uh, how, much, how many columns you have. And from there on, uh, yeah, you need to pack it. This is clear, eh? that, that this will uh, work, of course. Uh, we can change that. So if you do in here, So a username uh, might fail, the, uh, the expression on the username, 
because there's an O relation and one equals one is all, always one. So the whole statement then will be uh, true. The whole value will be true and therefore you will get the, uh, the total result. So there's no value in fact. Eh? It's just select from the table. successful uh, login, yeah. of course. But now you depend a lot on what the, the program has done. Exactly. So how can you manipulate what you get more than uh, what the program has meant uh, to return? You now the problem is the programming programmer isn't printing anything. He's just saying successful or not. Yeah, yeah, I do hear, of course. But a lot of times it's a dump uh, of uh, what I've said. Huh? So you have a table, I can change it to that. Yeah. So that you have a table and that it shows a list of. Yeah. So in this case, you can't operate. No, but then you have any, uh, then you have a list of names. Yeah. And yeah. nothing more than that normally, because uh, what you won't do. from the code. You're talking like this, you won't select the password field, uh, would you? Yeah. You just include it in your where statement, but not in your select. But then you get a list of all the usernames, and you can, can try to uh, access them. So you know exactly uh, who is, uh, what usernames are available in the system. Um, we can print them. What I will do is I add a little code that will show the, all the users then, instead of just uh, login successful or login failed.
Van SQL inject? Uh, SQL yeah. injection or? Yeah, SQL injection. With uh, PHP and multiple um, statements. And yeah, from another table. Yeah, from. So in one, is it one SQL statement then it's or? One SQL statement. One SQL statement. Okay. Okay, you can show. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You do. I just need to change something, like the name. Also, I need to have a unique cable. Oh, yeah, no problem.
Ja. Iedereen mag allemaal naar voren komen hoor. Dan uh, mag de biemer, uh, krijg ik denk ik dat de biemer, maar dan kan je het wel zien. Het is wel echt leuk om te zien.